Welcome to my channel, Keeping Up With Kia P. I am your girl, Kia P, a.k.a. Kia the Crafter, a.k.a. Resin Queen on them. Yes, yes, self-proclaimed. Nevertheless, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. We are going to get started on a order. We are going to fill a large, large um, binder for a customer. So come on, take a look. And before we get started, go ahead, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell so that you can be notified when we upload dope content. So with no more further ado, again, thank you for being here. I hope you are learning and let's get started. Okay, guys, I have my mold here. This is a, four, a 4A notebook mold. So this is the full size 8 by 10. I have it here with me now. So we're going to get ready to uh get our resin together these take roughly about eight and eight i believe or four and four no i think it's six and six eight and eight something like that but we're gonna start out with eight ounces and i have my clear cups here um disposable cups so we're gonna go ahead and get started i am using my epoxy store resin and that is the hardener this is the clear so this is part a we're gonna start out we're gonna do four ounces um yeah i'm gonna start out with um i want to do four ounces each one so we'll start out with eight i don't even think it's gonna take that much but maybe six three and three hmm we rather have more than enough than what we need. So we're going to go ahead and do eight total. So we're going to do four ounces of the A. Because I think this takes roughly about eight ounces each one. I mean, either six. I think it's six ounces each one. It's something like that. So we're going to start out with our eight. Yep, I'm just double checking and make sure my measurements is, is right. And we're going to stir this in slowly to avoid having bubbles. So while I mix this nice and slow... I hope everybody is having a good time. We having a good day. I hope your craft projects are going well. Thank y'all so much. The channel is growing. I'm trying to keep y'all with fresh content. Donations are always welcome and they are listed under every video. So if you want to donate to the channel, please do. Yes, we take donations. We need donations because these molds, this resin, everything costs. And I want to keep providing y'all with new things as they come out. Um, I have a couple other new projects we're going to work on. At least about three or four um, new projects that I'm going to bring. I just uploaded one. So y'all check that out. Um, they came out so cute. I got a couple of more things going on. So I'll be uploading a few more videos. But this lady, I met her. I'm going to tell y'all a little bit about her while we start this resin up. I met her at a pop-up shop that I did. Actually, my second one that I did, um, I met her there and she bought an earring tree for me. Well, not an earring tree, but this real nice earring um, thing that I, I made. Only made one. And I probably need to make another one of those. But, um, yeah... And so she bought that from me and a couple other ladies had bought some of the binders that I had had notebooks 
uh, business notebooks that I had had because, you know, we are all entrepreneurs and I made things even for the people who were there, the vendors, you know, because vendors like to go around and look to see what everyone else got. So, you know, we want to be able to, um, you know, cater to the vendors as well. They be needing stuff for their business. And these notebooks are super handy when it comes to doing taxes at the end. Oh, my goodness. Like I create and it's just the pages that you create. I do not have a video for the pages, but I do. I will post where you can make your personalized pages. However, you want to use this notebook, you can put um, just regular line paper in it. Um, the possibilities are limited. I mean, literally, you can do so much. And you just go to canvas.com and you can design pages there. You're going to put in a specific size that you want. And just go in there and create. It's very simple and easy to use. It's free. You don't get a lot of, um, well, you get a, still get a lot of uh, images and graphics and stuff, even with the free but if you want to get like the real, you know, upgraded stuff, then you can pay for a monthly subscription, however you want to go about that. But it, they do offer free things and I've done it. I've done a lot of my stuff just with the free templates and graphics that they offer. They offer a ton of things. So Canva.com is a, is a must have in your um, project wallet. You know your crafting wallet depending on what what kind of craft especially like business cards um all that kind of stuff you can do all of that there for your business and save money you can um download those um images and just send them out to wherever you want someone to um print and do your your posters or if you do them yourself like i do a lot of my print work myself you know so that's a that's my go to i design everything pretty much off canva and cricket so sometimes I get images and just you know work them with in word just depending my domino uh, stickers I do those in word unless I their name or something then I'll do those in cricket okay so we have that mixed up I'm gonna go ahead and put some paper towel down because I didn't have any ready and I hate when my husband buy this cheap pepper towel. Oh my goodness. And you have to use so much because it's not absorbent. Viva is the best, guys, for crafting. Viva or the blue mechanical automotive paper towel. Those two, absolutely best. The best. The best. Okay, so we want to, she wants a white. And so as a girl, I think I'm going to do a pearl white and add some white iridescent glitter in there i don't know if i should do the glitter kind of want to do the glitter kind of want to do a white and clear i think that'd be dope because her wording is black yeah that's what we're gonna do we're gonna do a white and a clear so i'm gonna put some of this in here because we're gonna clear some of it through just kind of run it through the white here and there hopefully and it'll stay and so we're gonna do some white with this so hold tight okay I got my white here so we're gonna put a couple of little little dabs down up in there like so what tab be like, like so, like sad, like so, like that. <laughs> so we're going to put that in there. I love her spirit. Okay. All right. So this is not as opaque as I would like. So we're going to put some more white. I don't want it to be see-through. Right. 
Still just a little bit. Make sure we start it up good. I know it's going to be okay. I promise. Got that mixed in. And she a girl. So I'm I'm gonna take my chances and throw her some white glitter in here. Because I just it, I just don't want it to be plain. We don't we don't do plain, so we're just gonna put her a little bit, just a little bit. Give her a little sparkle, darkle. Just a little bit of that. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. It just gives it a little. We're going to put a little bit more. It just gives it a little. Um, so it don't look boring. It looked like somebody literally designed it. Yeah, that's pretty. You probably can't really see it, but it's in there. It's in there. Yeah, that's pretty. Kind of want to throw her some more in there, but I don't want to overdo it. But that is gorgeous. Oh, that is so pretty. Yeah, I'm liking that. All right, so here we go. And I just took, I'm going to wipe this to get anything off of it. Because they've been sitting in a bag for a minute. And I just don't want nothing interfering with this wipe.
and thin, so I'm gonna need more <laughs> clearly. It's the back. But it came out so pretty. All this white is so gorgeous. Measure this corner. And so now this first mold has a lot. So I, sh I, I think I kind of went a little overboard with it. Uh, so I don't. Maybe can scoop some of it out. A little at a time. But it's pretty full. And so we'll probably use this one as the back and then we won't have to coat it anymore. And I just thought about that like, oh well, I be putting my sticker in there and so that's why I be coating over it, but we can do a thin layer. Pour this little bit of clear we got left. And what I won't do is probably put this in the little resin heater. I probably would just leave it, um, leave it out. And I'm just going to wipe this cup out because I want to just go right back in and pour some more resin. So we're just going to clean it up. We're not going to re um, mess up a whole new cup to pour about maybe, I would say four ounces, because I need another. Got something else popping, so we'll go with that. Hold tight while I prepare this resin. All right, so I have about three ounces I've separated, so we're gonna go ahead and put some white in that. Stir that up and they're good. Put the glitter in here. Yeah, I'm going faster because I'm trying to um, get this all mixed together and done, designed and all that good stuff. So we're gonna put some glitter in here. Get that mixed in there. Start from that corner.
just that clear. Follow back over with this white. And then we're going to blend what's left. Because we don't want to fill it, right? Not all the way. Bringing them to the, the clear so that they can touch. And then it'll level out on its own. And this white, the second thing of white is a little bit more opaque. So that's what you see me doing is mixing it mixing it in with the first white so that they will at least match Pretty. Bit more right there. Corn. Super gorge. Just kind of, just kind of in, so it don't look like it's been poured like that. It's just kind of doing its thing. Being beautiful, perfect. Okay, we got a little bit left, so we will use that for something else. But that's pretty much it for the first pour. I'm just cleaning up everything that I don't need. We're gonna knock the bubbles out, set it to the side, because I'm not gonna put this in the oven right away. Go through, knock these bubbles out real quick. And then I'm going to set it on a flatter surface so that it'll just do what it needs to do. We're not in a rush. She just pl placed the order today, so we got plenty of design time. And that way we will ensure that it's an even pour. We don't have to come back and fill no voids or nothing. It just works better that way for these um, thin, flat pours. I have put them in the oven before, and I will if I'm pressed for time. But just for design purposes, I just want to keep it just like this. So that the design doesn't fuse too far together. And um, yeah, it's cute. Only thing, like again, you have to worry about making sure that it's on a flat surface. You got all your bubbles out. And that white glitter just gave it the oomph that we needed. So I'm glad we decided to put that in there. That's most of them. I'll keep an eye on it. We'll come back and we'll finish it up. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So we are back with our notebook. And we are going to go ahead and put the top coating on it. I put the sticker of the logo of her boutique and her name. 
And then I also put our logo sticker on the back, back here. And we're gonna go ahead. I have about four ounces and I'm just gonna coat the top. I'm hoping this be enough to just coat it. Just to coat it a little, coat the top of it. spatula we're just going just try to make sure that it is covered Everything is towards the edges and corners. All the way in. Like so. I think that that 
is pretty, pretty decent. Make sure I got this upper corner. And then the rest, I'm gonna put on the back. about two more ounces, two or three more ounces. Okay, we're gonna pour a little bit more and finish this up. Hold tight. All right, so I mixed up two more ounces. I'm gonna go ahead and add that to the binder. Hoping my braids don't get in any of this. And let this be enough. It looks like it's gonna be enough. Cover it. I'm going to double check it with the light. Make sure everything is at the edges. Hit it with the fire. And it should be good to go. Get the last little bit out of here.
Hold tight. All right, I got my torch lighter here. We're gonna go ahead and torch the bubbles out. Get everything nice and smooth and shiny. It's simple, but I think it's going to be really, really pretty when we unmold it. Because it's got like that see-through. So I think it's going to be really pretty. Alright, we're going to set this to the side and let it do what it do. And we'll come back and finish it up. Y'all hold tight. All right, guys, we are back and we're going to do mold. Let's see what we have. I'm going to go with the first one. Oh, that's pretty. That is pretty. <coughs> and here's the second one. Start from this side. That came out really nice. Oh, that is so pretty. I mean, I'm going to have to drill the hole right there. But that came out nice. And so that would be her binder right there. We'll put the rings in and get the hole drilled in it. First, we're going to take off any of the sides here. <clears throat> this came out real good everything is nice and hard i'm gonna get my debris tool so i could take off the edges i'm gonna take our debris oh, tool yes i did i'm record i'm recording Shh. so i have my debris tool here and we're gonna go ahead and Debris the edges. Got my son and grandson coming in the little one. And I'm just cleaning up the edges here. And it just makes it nice and smooth. And all I have to do is hit the corners with the drill. I'm going to do the other one. This has a little, little debris. It needs to be cut off the end. Just a little bit.
<clears throat> do the insides too because we don't want anything to be left sharp where it will hurt the client. Because these resin is kind of like glass. Sometimes it can be sharp. I like this little pick see-through. Super cute. It's not the it, the ends need to be <clears throat> softened a little bit, so I'm gonna come with my drill and hit the ends so that they're not sharp. Feels really good. Do the same for this one. I'm gonna hit the corners up. Get ready to put this hole in here, put it together, and I'll come back. I'm gonna hurt myself on this. Come back and finish it, finish it all the way up. This is nice, though. This is nice. I really like the white. tight all right so now i'm gonna drill the hole on this one right here it's already got like a little small area so we're gonna on, let me let me adjust this so you guys can see there we go so it's got a little indentation already so i'm just gonna put my little bit there in the indentation from the mold and slowly just like that and we're gonna get ready to put rings in here. I think I'm going to do some dark rings, so 
hold tight all right so we're gonna do silver because i didn't have any dark colors and i'm gonna go ahead and lace this first one Place the second one. And then there's the third. I'm gonna open it up. And then we're gonna get ready to fill it. So hold tight. Okay, guys, we are back with the finished journal. And I'm gonna show you what we have on the inside. So this is the inside. It has a laminated sheet here. I am beautifully and wonderfully made. She has a pencil or receipt, um, little pouch for her receipts, a calendar to kind of just kind of keep her with her dates and whatnot. She has today's plan of actions, the dividers, which are black. She has the business sale sheets. She has the business notes and goals. She has the monthly loss and profits sheets. And then I'm going to put her some contacts right here. Contact vendor, contact list, and whatnot. And then that will be her business binder. I put the um, little band around it so that it will keep it closed and nice and neat and cute. And, you know, real, real, you know, classic and expensive looking. And there you have it. Okay? You saw it here. Like, subscribe, and share, guys. Catch y'all on the next one. Thanks again.